will give you the identity of a well-known TV and movie star, OK? Ask me questions, teams, names coming up at home. Want to close your eyes and play along like this? Don't you look silly? Open your eyes like this. Right, that's the name for you at home. Here we go, then, team. Mike. If this TV and movie star was a, um, a tune, what tune would they be? Um, um Devil Woman. <laughs> Quite good. Yeah, Irving. Right, um, if this person was a kind of meat, what kind of meat <laughs> would they um, be? Uh, no smirking. Sort of, um, mutton. <laughs> but towards... Dressed as lamb? I have to say lamb. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I hope to God the mystery is not behind the screen. Um, yes, mutton dressed as lamb, I think. It's a bit of a clue. It's rather a good clue. And Devil Woman. Wow. Uh, Paula. Ooh. If this person, this TV and movie star, was a bird, what sort of bird would they be? Buzz, uh, no, not a buzzard. Um, I, um, <laughs> a, a, a sort of... Sparrow hawk. <laughs> Chris, if this person was a household chore, this mega star, which uh, household chore would they be? Sacking the servants. Sacking the servants. That's quite good. Would you not like me? Sacking the servants. Nellis. If this person was a weapon, what sort of weapon? Oh, uh, um. <laughs> stop that. <laughs> um, oh, um. Uh, a stiletto or something. A very oh, expensive yes. diamond encrusted yes. stiletto. There's a lot of patterns that wrong. If this person was a day out. For a bloke, an arm and three legs. Um, <laughs> it would be it would be it would be Harrods, it would be you probably buy Knightsbridge before lunch. Um, a very expensive day out. Right. Very, very expensive. Okay, well-known TV and movie star, you got my general drift. Paula, who do you think it is? We think it is Joan Collins. Simon, are you in agreement? I got no reaction to that, but yes. Here, yeah, right, yes. it's Joan Collins, hey, two hey, points hey, well hey, done. Hey, of course hey, it is. Hey, hey. And mercifully, I can tell you that Joan Collins is not our mystery guest tucked away behind the screen. Right, round two. Uh, Paula, send us one of your, um, your Eric, team up. Oof, it's your turn. My turn. <laughs> My turn. Could be on the telly. <laughs> right, uh, identity of a well known pop star, okay? Pop star coming up on your screen at home, close your eyes. Name coming up now, gone now. Right, OK, Neris? Yes. Uh, try and help your team. I think they'd probably be on help, actually, from the look of them. Yes. But, um, come on, what can we... Michael, ask us a question. Neris, if, yes. the, if this well-known pop star was a, um, uh, a toy... Clockwork monkey. A clockwork <laughs> monkey. <laughs> what? OK. Yeah. Pop star. Paula. OK, if this pop star was a fairy tale, what sort of fairy tale? Oh, um, He or she. Black witch. B. Black witch. <laughs> um, OK, Michael, another one. Um, uh, what about if this, um, this person was a plant? A orchid? Uh, tenderly... Oh, tenderly, A tenderly on. orchid. A tenderly orchid. Ten... Yeah. Tenderly. Well, tenderly. That's pinned it down, I would say. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Um, Two points if, up for grabs. If, if this person was a cosmetic... A cosmetic. Uh, <laughs> cosmetic... Surgery would be quite Yes, cosmetic good. surgery is very good, yes. Better clue than Black Witch, certainly in yeah. Tenderly Orchid. Um, well done, Pop Star. We think it might be Michael Jackson. Is yeah! correct. Yeah! <laughs> Calm down, Nose, for God's sake. Of course it is, that well known Tenderly Orchid Michael Jackson. OK, next one, round three. Here we go. I can tell you Michael Jackson's not tucked away behind the screens either. Round three, <laughs> Simon, send us one of your. Um, Jane will be up to the Desperately flagging beans. team, trailing by two to four. But that's because they've had one more go than you. Well spotted. Hello, Earl. Hello. Hello there. Right, we're looking for the identity of um, a comedian. Right. OK, name's coming up at home. Please comedian. Right. No reaction from okay. the audience. No. Nope. <laughs> so they can't read. OK, right, well-known comedian. Uh, two uh, points you've got so far, Simon. Jane, I want you to transmogrify this person into a part of the body. Which part of the body would they be? Beer belly, I think, probably. A beer belly. A beer belly. Yeah, very unpleasant. A beer belly. <laughs> what about um, a holiday resort? What sort of holiday um, resort? Beavis. Blackpool. 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 Yeah, Blackpool. Blackpool, I see. I see. Uh, what kind of shoe or foot burn? Clog. A clog. A clog. Clog. <laughs> clog. Uh, um, it's probably a man. <laughs> a very, very unattractive woman. Um, one more. Garden with this person. 
<laughs> the backyard. Backyard. Right, backyard. 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 Outside yeah. toilet. Back, whip it. Whip it. Tied to fence. They are. Well, they're a well-known comedian. They're. As they were until now, they're a backyard with um, things tied outside toilets. They're a beer belly. Simon, who is it? We think it's Les Dawson. Yes. 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 Oh, By Jingo Irving. That set the game alight, and no mistake. Um, and understandably, Les Dawson hasn't turned up to be on the show because he didn't oh. want to be slagged off like that. Thank you very much. Round four. Um, here we go. One more, Paula. We're getting through this at great speed. Uh, four apiece, the score. Very high scoring. Send us one of your gang, Paula. Mike. Does it have to be Mike Smith? I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Could it be Neris twice? <laughs> OK. Hi, Chris. Hello there. Right, well-known <laughs> movie star. Oh, stop being so soppy. Right. Uh, well-known movie star names coming up on your screens. Movie Want to play along? Star. Movie Ooh. star. Ooh. Boom. OK, right. Mm. Ooh. Tricky, Johnny. Mm. For all your score. Right, Paula. If this movie star was a bed. Hammock. A hammock. A hammock. Mm. A hammock. Hammock. OK, they'd be a hammock. Neris. Hmm, if this hammocky movie star was um, an animal. Well, he'd be a sort of, um, he or she it would be, um, would be, um, <laughs> could that hurt? Oh, that really hurt. Um, Soft and sensuous? Sort of, no, sort of King of the Jungle. Um, oh, King of the Jungle? Yeah. yeah uh, Rampant. Um, Rampant, possibly? <laughs> a, 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 lion. a lion. A lion. A lion. That King of the Jungle. A hammocky jungle. lion. A hammocky lion. lion, yeah. Yeah. That was a well known. Hmm. So if this hammocky lion, this hammock, yeah. Other movie star, yep. were a school subject. If, I don't know whether we do this at school these days, but, I mean, you, 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 you know, it did in my days, archaeology. Well, they Ar obviously don't. Archaeology. Archaeology. Do you like that? Look at them. They're easily pleased, aren't they? They're do. just clapping because it's a long word. They've no idea what it means. <laughs> they also clapped if you said rhododendron or coelacanth. <laughs> One more. Ruined. It's going nowhere, is it? One if, more. If this old ruinous hammocky lion <laughs> <laughs> was a herb or spice. Oh, God. oh no. <laughs> uh, an, an old. An old, old spice. An old, old spice. Old spice. Old spice. Are you still wearing that? Old spice. An old lion. An old spice. An old spice. Come on, I must take a guess. Otherwise, oh, no. I'm going to get the side and see the chomping. Oh, I'm going to have to give it a side and see if you know. Do Harrison know? Ford. Harrison Ford oh! is good! I'm sorry, I couldn't wait for you any longer. They were good clues. Well, sit yourself down. Well, if you go to the break, I can tell you now that Paul has seen we've got four points, but on the strength of that last wild guess, Simon Williams has now got five points. Yes, yeah. Join us again in a couple of minutes for some more lazy comparisons. And now, variations on a theme of deliciously different dairy foods from Muller. Muller Fruit Corner is, of course, a masterpiece. A generous measure of thick, creamy yogurt on the left, coupled with a bright, cheerful, separate section of real fruit on the right. Very clever. A unique combination. You must try these famous fruit and crunch corners for yourself. Altogether, a pastoral symphony by Muller. So crisp and sunny Golden wheat and golden honey Golden crackles right on the money Golden crackles The golden taste of wheat and honey When it comes to taste, trust Kellogg's to set the gold standard Golden crackles Ugh, the person's so gentle on your skin And you know all about that, of course, Gran Well, what a fabulous first half of the show it was, and no mistake. Um, Paula Wilcox team have got four points, pathetically trailing. It's impossible, surely, to lose to someone like Williams, but they seem to be. Simon Williams has now got five. <laughs> so, we're zipping along. Who are you going to send us next? One Here's of your a new Graham. Right. One of your all-conquering team. Yeah, exactly. Um, this may or may not be terribly difficult. Um, See what I mean? Ah. We're trying to find the identity of a well-known TV personality. So it excludes any of us. Um, <laughs> name coming up on your screens. Close your eyes. Like that. And I've done... 
like that. Oh, 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 oh. The audience goes. <laughs> right, they know this TV personality. Can we describe them to your lot? Uh, Jane, ask Graham a question. If this person was a fictional character... So Mr Magoo. Two Tweedledum. Yeah. Tweedledum! Oh, right. Tweedledum. <laughs> It's not very helpful, Simon. What, um, what high street shop would this person uh, translate into? Uh, Oxfam. <laughs> it would be Oxfam. Yes, it? Yeah, Oxfam. Fine. Oxfam. A jump. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they were a pie. A pie? pie? Why would they be a pie? Well, you know. A big. Pie. A very yeah. big round. Fat full pie. pie. Not fat, Jane. I didn't <laughs> say that. You said that. I thought rather unkindly. Well-filled well filled pie. Well -filled pie. Well -filled pie. A well-filled well -filled pie. A well-filled pie. A well-filled pie. OK, what movie would this person be? I'm not getting any clear. Uh, oh, Star, Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. Star Wars? Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Is excellent. That's your lot. Come on. Mm. Uh, they're Tweedledum. They're Oxfam. They're a well-filled pie. What could it be? <laughs> <laughs> and they're Star Wars. <laughs> We haven't got a second. I've got Bernard well Manning. Bernard Manning? <laughs> <laughs> Paul Stone, come oh, on, support you if you can get it. Yeah. Star Pit Wars? Patrick Moore. It's Patrick Moore, yeah. well done. Yeah. And I should say, uh, you're in all sorts of trouble. Oh, no. Oxfam, Tweedledum, well filled pie, <laughs> Star Wars, because Patrick Moore's here with us as our yeah. mystery guest. <laughs> Yes, sit down. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit unkind because I think I mean I think you, you're beautifully turned out today, aren't you? But well, somebody once somebody once said that I gave every impression of having been somewhat hastily constructed. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not prepared to deny this. <laughs> uh, Well-filled pie, I thought was a bit unnecessary. What else? We say Star Wars, of course, is obviously from your. I should have got it on. And Tweedledum. <laughs> really one. Okay, well, sit fine. yourself down, Greg. Thanks for um, embarrassing Sorry, everybody. Um, no, one hour, five to six. Now, now, Patrick, this is where um, it gets a little bit more yes. complicated because. This is where they have to uh, think of themselves. Paul is saying we want you to think of yourselves as planets. Very much up Patrick Street. What sort of a planet do you think you oh, are? Pen. We want Simon to. Uh, we want Patrick to work out what he thinks you, you think you are. And meanwhile, Simon, Tim, can you be right now? What sort of dance you think you all are? Oh, oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at them. Uh, Michael, what sort of planet, Patrick? Do you think? Um, what sort of planet do you think he thinks he is? <laughs> Yellow and. Uh... Big and rather empty. Oh! Uh, people can make rings around him. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Which, which one, though? Which Saturn. One? Saturn, no, oh, sorry. Oh, OK. Yellow, empty Saturn. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Paula, you're looking forward to yours, aren't you, Paula? Yeah. What, what do you think, Patrick? Uh, spare, um, uh, small, mm. um, quick moving. Mm. Um, oh, Mercury, I would think. <laughs> Mercury. <laughs> OK. What about Nevis? Well, um... <laughs> dust in black? Furthest away from me? Must be dark. M must be Pluto. Pluto! <laughs> must be Pluto. Pluto! <laughs> it's very complicated. You're trying to follow your reasoning. Ooh. OK, right. <laughs> well, I'm Mike Smith. Yellow, empty Smith. Are you, um... <laughs> are you... <laughs> Oh, Can I just point so out, much it, it, I was not the one being rude to you on the, the last <laughs> bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Speaking right. as he finds me. Certainly. Mark, nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, well, are you Saturn? For two points. Mars! Mars. It's the only one you can spell. That's what it's <laughs> the quickest to write. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, not Mars. Oh, you're Saturn, I'm afraid. You're stuck with it. What about you, Paula? I thought, goddess of love. Yeah. Little dreams. <laughs> a dream. A dream. <laughs> just a dream. Hey ho, uh, Neris. Are you Pluto? No, I had delusions of speed. Mercury. Oh, you should have swapped <laughs> seats for goodness sake. You should have swapped seats. Yes. yes. Well, yeah. it's going really badly. Yes, got no yeah. points whatsoever. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's um, let's zip across. Um, what about now? What about his lot? They're going to see themselves as types of dance. Types What's of dances. Jane Irving. <laughs> what do you think? Well, um, something very modern. A modern. Very, very modern. Yes. Um, Ogo. Something that doesn't need a great deal of timing. Oh. Um, <laughs> I say disco dancing. Disco dancing. Are you a disco dancer yourself? The last time I danced at all was many years ago to dance at a local cricket club, and somebody said that my dancing and my bowling action would exactly the same. <laughs> um, I do, but I don't play, and I've got dancers. <laughs> Fine. I never asked that. Right, Simon. What about um, him? What would he be? What oh, um, something um, 
or fairly old-fashioned, I think. Um, <laughs> quaint. Quaint. Yes, quaint, looking fairly old-fashioned. Mm. And um, they do on and on and on, you know. Quite mythical. It must be a waltz, I think. A waltz. <laughs> a never-ending <laughs> old waltz, right? Mm. Uh, Graham. Something I can't quite define. Nothing very definite about this one. Or rather nebulous, I think. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, what's the most nebulous? Oh, I think a foxtrot. A foxtrot? Graham's <laughs> <laughs> a foxtrot. Well, no score um, <laughs> for Paula's side. It seems yeah. unlikely. Simon's often having the other. Well, now, what about you, Jane? Are you a disco dance? Well, I am in my private life, of course, but I thought you might take my costume into account, so... Are you being a Highland fling? <laughs> well, I thought of that. We should have done it. We should have done it. Um, Simon, are you a quaint old waltz? You're a waltz! <laughs> ah. <laughs> a long last, the score's changed. Um, two points, Graham. Are you a foxtrot? I'm not a fox right now, I'm a lumbar. A lumbarda! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, the schoolgirl bus. Right, OK, well, five to Paula's team, seven now to Simon Williams, and thanks very much to Patrick Moore. Thank you very much. Thank you. He didn't, uh, he didn't change the score much, but he was thoroughly, thoroughly abusive, and I think that's so important, isn't it? Right, let's, um, let's slip along. Right, this is where we start talking about ourselves. It's getting, it's getting pretty personal already, but it gets much more personal now. Five to seven, the scores. Who are you going to send us, Paula? This is where we talk about one myself. of us lot. OK, Skipper, here you are. We're talking about that one. Now, it's All one right. of us, OK? Uh, it could be me, it could be Paula. It's one of us lot sitting here. Ask us some questions, Jane. If this person was a kind of hairstyle, quite... The rook's neck. Shortish, would you say? Shortish? Yes. Shortish. I'd say that. <laughs> Michael. Um, <laughs> if this person was a... a type of meat? Um, mum, 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 mum. Perhaps a bit, nice bit of chicken. <laughs> chicken? <laughs> yes, if you like, yes. Like, oh. Chicken. Someone here's a nice bit of chicken. <laughs> and they're shortish, if they were a hairstyle. Simon. Uh, Paula, which pantomime character would this person be? Perhaps, um... Widow Twanky? Perhaps Widow Twanky, perhaps... <laughs> Goldilocks or something. Goldilocks! Like that. Goldilocks <laughs> never slapped her thigh, Chris. Somebody should have done. <laughs> <laughs> Pinching all that porridge. Right, well, Goldilocks, uh, a nice bit of chicken and shortish hairstyle. Maris, it's one of us. Um, what sort of clothing, an article of clothing? A shirt. A shirt? Yes. OK, right. Graham. What sort of... Uh, what bit of household furniture? What would you say? A little comfy... little comfy... Chair? A little comfy chair. I'd say that. Makes me happy. A little comfy chair. It's a little comfy chair. They're a nice bit of chicken. They're a clean shirt. They're Goldilocks. They're a shortish hairstyle. It's one of us. Um, Jane, name the name. Who do you think it is? Who's it most like in your world? It's got to be... It's got to be either me or him, isn't it? Make your mind up. Come on. Him. Or him. Him. Smith. Or him. Smith. Or him. <laughs> Okay. Right. Seconds ago, he was a yellow, empty plant. Look at him now. Yeah. A nice bit of chicken now. Right. <laughs> That's pretty much about half hour, really. Is it? No, no, no. There are more expensive Michael, is places it? you can go to get insulted. <laughs> is it you, Michael? Who do you is, think? Oh, it is? is it me? Um, uh, short chicken. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, nice, um, nice chicken. No, I think it's Paula. Paula, <laughs> nice bit of chicken. Right, uh, Simon. It was the idea of Widow Twanky that brought Mike Smith to the forefront yes. of my consciousness. Yes. You've seen those dresses. <laughs> Mike Smith. Mike Smith again. Uh, oh, good hearing this. Uh, Lewis. This is very difficult, isn't it? <laughs> it's not only very difficult, it's very insulting. Very <laughs> Well, with a comfy chair, you kind of think, you want to go and sit on his knee and see how comfy he'd be, but I would imagine the comfiest knee to sit on might be Gretton. <laughs> come on, come no, on. Michael. Michael. I'll go for Michael. Three for that nice bit of chicken, Mike Smith. Graham, one more. Is it Mike Smith? I just, no, not Mike for me. I, comfy chair. Just, I just saw Paula. I'm sorry. Comfy Paula? Chair. Yeah. Two for Paula, away. three for nice bit of chicken, Mike. <laughs> right, well, is it? It's Paula Wilcox. Yeah! 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 Let Smith off the hook. Right, well, we love these yeah, rounds. Yeah. OK, well, seven to Paul and nine to Simon. One more round. Here we go. Simon, send us one of your pathetic team. Could I come myself? Oh, boy, they don't get much more pathetic than that. <laughs> here we go. Right, here we are, Skipper. Gosh. It's that one we're going to talk about now. It's one of us. It could be Paula again. I should warn you, team. It could be Paula twice. Cos we're like that. <laughs> OK, Michael. Uh, what if... Uh, <laughs> what if this per person was... Uh, what if one of us or... Uh, yes. 
Um, a form of transport. Form of transport. Yes. What would this person be? Uh, a sort of horrible sort of yucky thing, <laughs> cheating <laughs> escort. Something with a spoiler on the back. Yes, anyway, we think dice in dice yes. in the window. Dice in the window. Yes. Oh <laughs> god! Spoilers and go faster stripes and all that. Yes, Jane. If heaven forbid this person were to be a reptile, what sort of reptile Ooh. would they be? A sort of crocodile with dentures, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, crocodile adventures, um, a sort of yuppie racing car. Paula! OK, if this person were um, a tie... A tie? They'd really be a bow tie, wouldn't bow tie. they? A bow tie. A little yes. bit of elegance. A, a dotted bow tie. Yes. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Graham. This person was an athlete. Which sport? It's, it's almost beyond picturing, let me think. Um, Not a very good athlete, I would <laughs> The, but the um the egg and, sacris, egg and spoon the egg and spoon <laughs> coming <laughs> last even at that losing their egg and the spoon um neris if this person was a uh, home what kind of home house semi, or home semi detached semi detached run down semi detached <laughs> um sort of never in their right mind curtains hung the wrong way you know <laughs> oh. No burger in their right mind would bother. Yeah, no. it's, yes <laughs> it's, a, it's a very elegant home come on team you've got to name the name nice and quickly michael who are they it's you. <laughs> I've never liked you, Smith. Yes. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't show, though, throughout this half hour. Um, Jane. It was the spotty bow tie. I think it's you, Simon, because you shit spotty. For no spotty. more intellectual reason than that. He has had a lot of trouble with his game. He has a way of backfiring on a chair. <laughs> right. right, Paula. Oh, you were incredibly rude about each other. I'm sure it's one of you. I'm sure yeah. it's Chris. Thanks, Paula. That's OK. <laughs> Graham. I have absolutely no idea. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it must be you, Chris. Thanks. Thanks, Graham. It's three for me. It's going really yeah. badly. Um, Neris. <laughs> Yes, I think they're just rude to each other, and he kept asking Chris's opinion too, didn't he? Well, he does that because he's. Does he? Is <laughs> that a red herring? Yep. Um, still, I think it might be you, Chris. Well, thank you Not very much, Not because I teams. think that. <laughs> Not because I think that. Thank you know, you. I love you. None of you will ever work again. I want you to know that it's Mike Smith. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Charlotte. I can tell you that the scores at the end of this all-action abusive nail-biter have been seven to Paula Wilcox, but nine to Simon Williams. <laughs> that mercifully is enough of that old nonsense. Thanks very much to Mike, to Paula, and to Neris. Thanks to Jane, thanks to Simon, and thanks to Graham. See you next time on Crazy Comparisons. Ta-ta! <laughs>Join us Friday for the best of this morning. Your favourite bits from the whole series, plus the Chippendales on a very tight leash and some surprises. Don't miss it. Have you ever been on stage with no clothes on? <laughs> Where exactly is Wales? I <laughs> When I was young, Jason, I was the image of Kyla. Which gives yeah, you a rough idea what she's going to look like. John David Moore, <laughs> Sunday at 5 past 10. Over now to ITN for the latest news headlines. Good afternoon. The International Cricket Council has decided not to relax the ban on the former England captain Mike Gatting and 15 other cricketers who joined a rebel tour to South Africa 18 months ago. Yesterday, the ICC readmitted South Africa to international cricket. After their historic decision on South Africa yesterday, the ICC had been expected to lift the ban on the 16 rebels. But in the end it wasn't, mainly because bringing the likes of Mike Gatting back into the fold would have been at the expense of other players who turned down South Africa.